a lot of you heard that saying where it takes the tougher man, the better man, to make peace. Well, I'm sure by now, after all these videos that you've seen, it's true. Let me see a little poem off the top of my head, just real quick. Just... The race doesn't matter, no matter which tribe. If you believe you can find God, you're right. Let's give up this hatred and this stupid war. It cost me stab wounds, scars, and my people more. Some of my people have been shot. Some of them are dead. Some of them, I wish it was me instead. Like my uncle. This world was better off with him, not me. Ask anybody, especially even my aunt, no. Me and her disagree about everything, except for this. And maybe, well, I'm not gonna go into that. But she can tell you to love and be true. And when you feel hatred, you gotta just let it pass through you. Reject it, don't accept it. Try to love, even if you have to spread righteousness from God above. Now, I, I declare the ceasefire. And I know some people are going to violate it. I know. I know how it goes. I wish to God that everyone hears my message and nobody violates it, but I know the streets do well. Everyone who violates my ceasefire, even if they're ordered by the crip car to kill somebody, or by their OG, or they feel like they have to do it because someone got raped, they got robbed, they got beat up. I know the type of things that make someone want to kill somebody. They're getting jumped and they feel like they're going to get beat to death, or whatever the case may be. We're gonna be like ninjas. I know that kind of, you know, E40 ish a little bit. That's how we're gonna have to be. You know? And I want the crime to stop too. I want us to do things the right way. You know, make make music, party if you want, but no no crimes. I don't want people to get in fights and people to get stabbed and shot and beat up. And I, and I, don't, I don't want any more kids. I'll get the order when it's time. And when it's time, it's gonna be because everyone agrees it's time. You understand? When I give the order, it's going to be like, you know, I don't need to give the order. Because you'll know. Until then, we train, and we train for the right reasons. And we don't get cocky. I'm going to tell you this right now. There's another reason you'll get excommunicated. You start training and using the principles I told you, and you beat up somebody, and I find out, you might have to see me in the ring now. And I don't want to go to the ring, so I'm going to to communicate you whether you win or not in the ring against me. Because <laughs> I don't want to go, go through all that. But you know, I care about you people, man. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to put my neck on the line and get killed. <clears throat> right now. You know, anytime gang members in jail could put a hit on me, <clears throat> they could come through my door. We exchange fire. Maybe I get one of them. Maybe I get two of them. And the rest kill me. They'll probably take them. My stuff, who gives a fucking shit? I'll be dead, right? <laughs> so, I hope that the gang members understand that my, for my family's sake, I would hope that you wouldn't kill me for their sake. But, on the other hand, for their sake, I hope that if you kill me, you do so in an honorable way. So that my memory may be preserved. I want to die honorably fighting for God as I have lived despicably serving the devil in a roundabout way feeding into the environment that I helped my own people down like a fool and knowing what I was doing the whole time. But I was too cool to turn I was too proud to turn back. I was too selfish to turn back. Turn back, please. I beg all of you right now, turn back. For Africa, for our ancestors, for our brothers. For our spiritual people. that